Hi everyone, welcome to an introduction to Tencent Cloud's gaming infrastructure. In this video, we'll provide an overview of Tencent Cloud before introducing three Tencent Cloud gaming infrastructure products, Content Delivery Network, CDN, Global Application Acceleration Platform, GAAP, and Tencent DB for TCAP Plus DB. Let's start with an introduction to Tencent Cloud. A leading global public cloud provider, Tencent Cloud is the sixth largest cloud infrastructure as a service provider in the world. Tencent Cloud supports over 250 terabits per second of bandwidth and has over 1 million servers in production, over 70 internationally recognized cloud certifications, more than 100% year-on-year growth, and more than 2,800 global acceleration nodes. Trusted by leading companies around the world, Tencent Cloud offers a comprehensive cloud product portfolio, over 200 solution scenarios, powerful infrastructure, and extensive global presence. Here's a diagram of Tencent Cloud's product portfolio. Tencent Cloud offers products across three main categories, Infrastructure as a Service, or ES, Platform as a Service, or PaaS, and Software as a Service, or SaaS. First, Tencent Cloud's ES services include compute products, such as cloud virtual machine and auto-scaling, network products, such as cloud load balancer and virtual private cloud, storage products, such as cloud block storage and cloud object storage, and database products such as Tencent DB for Redis and Tencent DB for TCAP plus DB. Second, Tencent Cloud's PaaS services include AI products such as optical character recognition and face recognition, big data products such as Elastic MapReduce and Elasticsearch service, video products such as Video On Demand, Tencent Real-Time Communication, and messaging products such as instant messaging and short message service. Finally, Tencent Cloud's SaaS services include WeChat solutions, such as WeChat mini programs and WeChat Pay, collaboration tools such as WeCom and Vuv Meeting, and solutions for specific industries such as retail and healthcare. Okay, next let's take a look at Tencent Cloud's infrastructure around the world. Tencent Cloud currently offers 70 availability zones in 26 regions that are distributed across countries such as China, the United States, India, Singapore, Thailand, Germany, the Netherlands, and Brazil. Featuring dual-ring topology network design, Tencent Cloud's cloud infrastructure forms a fully redundant global network backbone in which additional regions or availability zones use dual-link technology to connect to different nodes. In addition to regions and availability zones, Tencent Cloud also offers over 2,800 acceleration nodes and 250 terabits per second of bandwidth across over 70 countries through its content delivery network, CDN product. CDN is a delivery acceleration service that enables nearby access for end users by delivering content to cache nodes deployed worldwide. The globally distributed network reduces network jitter and latency, effectively improving download speeds, responsiveness, and the overall user experience. Leveraging its robust global cloud infrastructure, Tencent Cloud has helped some of the most successful mobile games in the industry such as PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds Mobile or PUBG Mobile, safely and reliably deploy its services to users worldwide. For example, with PUBG Mobile, Tencent Cloud helped the game smoothly launch in multiple regions while guaranteeing minimal latency between nodes. Thanks to Tencent Cloud, PUBG Mobile was able to launch ahead of schedule and save 10% in costs over another public cloud provider. Partnering with an American game publisher, Tencent Cloud also helped a highly popular first-person shooter mobile game launch globally. Tencent Cloud provided hands-on operational support for the game and even helped the game launch ahead of schedule. It also provided CDN services to the game when the game's original CDN provider experienced technical issues, an incident that later led to Tencent Cloud becoming the game's exclusive global CDN provider. In addition, 
Using Tencent Cloud resulted in a 25% cost reduction for the first-person shooter mobile game. Finally, Tencent Cloud also helped a popular multiplayer online battle arena mobile game launch in new geographical regions. Tencent Cloud was deeply engaged in the game launch and operation support process, and the game saved 15% in costs by using Tencent Cloud over a competitor. Holding a 70% share of the mobile game cloud service market in China, Tencent Cloud specializes in providing cloud services for the gaming industry. For example, 8 out of the 25 top gaming companies in China run their games on Tencent Cloud due to Tencent Cloud's advanced gaming cloud technologies. Tencent Cloud's rapid growth and strong products have also been recognized in reports published by major cloud analyst firms such as Gartner, Frost & Sullivan, and Forrester. Delivering end-to-end -end game services from development to operations to monetization, Tencent Cloud helps gaming companies react to and take advantage of several major trends that are affecting the gaming industry. First, in response to the growing importance of research and development in the gaming industry, Tencent Cloud has developed products such as WeTest to simplify game operations. Second, to meet the growing needs of multiplayer, social, and cross-platform games, Tencent Cloud offers low latency, game technologies for voice, live stream, content moderation, and a high-performance global network. Third, to meet the increasing demand for more sophisticated game security technologies, Tencent Cloud can provide gaming companies with anti-DDoS, web application firewall, and anti-cheat services. Fourth, game companies that are looking to expand into new markets can leverage Tencent Cloud's presence in emerging markets such as Southeast Asia and Latin America. Finally, Tencent Cloud utilizes its competitive advantages in cost to provide services at low and attractive prices, helping gaming companies increase their profit margins and reach their key performance indicators. Here's an overview of Tencent Cloud's gaming products. Tencent Cloud offers products across five categories. Game experience, game analytics, game deployment, game development, and game infrastructure. First, Tencent Cloud's game experience products include Global Application Acceleration Platform, GAP, for game acceleration, and Anti-Cheat Expert, ACE, for cheating prevention. Second, Tencent Cloud's game analytics products include Cloud Log Service, CLS, for logging, and C Kafka for message queuing. Third, Tencent Cloud's game deployment products include Tencent Infrastructure as Code, TIC, for resource orchestration, and Cloud Workload Protection, CWP, for security. Fourth, Tencent Cloud's game development products include databases such as Tencent DB for TCAP Plus DB, Game Multimedia Engine, GME, for real-time chat and voice effects, and WeChat Mini Games for game development on the WeChat platform. Finally, Tencent Cloud's game infrastructure services include compute products such as Cloud Virtual Machine, CVM, and Tencent Kubernetes Engine, TKE, network products such as Content Delivery Network, CDN, and Anycast Internet Acceleration, AIA, and storage products such as Cloud Object Storage, COS, and Cloud Block Storage, CBS. Okay, now let's move on to an introduction to Tencent Cloud's Content Delivery Network, or CDN. A leading global CDN provider with the highest service volume in the Asia-Pacific region, Tencent Cloud CDN has been in operation since 2010 in over 70 countries. Through over 1,000 Internet service providers worldwide, Tencent Cloud CDN offers over 2,800 nodes globally with more than 250 terabits per second of reserved bandwidth. To date, it has served over 500,000 customers. With over 2,000 nodes in mainland China, Tencent Cloud is the largest CDN provider in China. Outside of China, Tencent Cloud also offers nodes in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Oceania. Customers can choose from different CDN features to meet their specific needs. For example, Regular CDN can be used to accelerate the delivery of various static content 
such as images, applications, games, and music, while Enterprise CDN can be used to quickly distribute dynamic content such as APIs through secure, reliable, and optimal transmission paths. Meanwhile, Secure CDN can be used to protect cloud business from DDoS, CC, web, and bot attacks, and video delivery solutions such as Video On Demand, VOD, Tencent Real-Time Communication, TRTC, and Cloud Streaming Services, CSS, can be leveraged in conjunction with CDN to accelerate the delivery of video content. Okay, now let's take a look at the main features of CDN. First, Tencent Cloud CDN provides intelligent routing through Tencent Cloud's self-designed GSLB scheduling system and unique network-wide real-time monitoring system to accurately route user requests to optimal access nodes and ensure high access quality. Second, Tencent Cloud CDN supports configuring cache expiration times for content on different CDN nodes according to file type, directory, and path to effectively improve the node hit rate and reduce the origin pull bandwidth consumption. Third, Tencent Cloud CDN also supports URL purging and prefetching. URL and directory purge tasks can be submitted on the Tencent Cloud console or through open APIs to delete cached resources across the entire network. URL prefetch tasks can also be submitted for cache nodes to actively pull the specified resources from the origin server and cache them for improved access speeds. Fourth, Tencent Cloud offers monitoring and alarm capabilities. Metrics such as traffic, bandwidth, requests, the hit rate, the origin pull failure rate, and specific status codes are monitored in real time by the minute and can be configured in the Cloud Monitor console. Lastly, Tencent Cloud CDN also offers analytics and log download capabilities. Through the CDN console, you can view various reports such as active IP statistics, user access region distribution, and ISP distribution via log streaming. In addition, access logs can be downloaded for custom analysis. Security is becoming an increasingly valued feature of CDN services. At Tencent Cloud, Various security features can be configured on the CDN console to protect customers' business against various types of attacks. Anti-attack features include DDoS protection, CC protection, Web Application Firewall WAF, and Bot Mitigation, while access control features include Hotlink protection, token-based authentication, IP and UA block lists and allow lists, IP access limits, HTTP header configuration, and HTTP 2.0. Anti-hijacking features include the operator, TCP, and DNS anti-hijacking solutions, while content moderation involves detecting and filtering prohibited content. Edge One is Tencent Cloud's network security solution. It is a one-stop, cloud-native edge service platform that provides content acceleration, web security management, performance optimization, and technical support for customers outside of mainland China. It provides a comprehensive set of network protection features, such as anti-DDoS, web security, and bot mitigation to help improve the network performance and enhance the end-user experience. Addressing the pain points of the traditional edge security and acceleration solution, such as limited protection, high costs resulting from multiple separate purchases, and difficult ops due to separate configurations, Edge One provides security features from Layer 3 through Layer 7, such as built-in anti-DDoS, configurable rate limits, built-in web security, API protection, and bot mitigation. Because the features of original products are consolidated and optimized into a single product, Edge One offers higher acceleration and security performance, increased configuration flexibility, and lower operational costs. An example of how Tencent Cloud CDN brought value for gaming customers is how it helped facilitate the largest global launch of a widely popular mobile game, which recorded 100 million downloads in the first week after its release. In this case, the customer required resilient auto-scaling services to provide access to users worldwide 
and meet an enormous anticipated demand in traffic. With its CDN product, Tencent Cloud provided hands-on operational support, launched the game ahead of schedule, and scaled its cloud resources rapidly. Thanks to Tencent Cloud, the game was smoothly deployed around the world with minimal latency between nodes, helping it top the free mobile game chart in 33 countries just one day after release. Okay, now let's move on to an introduction to Tencent Cloud's Global Application Acceleration Platform, or GAP. Since 2015, the rise of real-time interactions and competitive gaming has led to increasingly high network requirements. This is because latency greater than 100 to 150 milliseconds results in stutters during gameplay, and latency greater than 200 milliseconds significantly impacts the gaming experience, resulting in a loss of users. Indeed, a substantial amount of lag will occur if the network jitter frequency is 1 to 2 times per minute, and serious stuttering will occur if the network jitter frequency is more than 2 times per minute. To solve this problem, Tencent Cloud's GAP enables users to access the origin server through a high-speed connection with the aid of the nearest node, eliminating stutters and latency experienced by global users when accessing content. GAP features unified domain name access, enabling players around the world to access high-speed connections nearest to them for simultaneous acceleration. This helps minimize regional differences in network latency making the gaming experience more fair and increasing player satisfaction and retention as a result. GAP also features intelligent detection, in which multiple link detection methods are provided to ensure that the acceleration channel is stable and that the customer data reaches the target region at high speeds, reducing the network latency for users. Link detection policies can be set to automatically send alarms to users. Built for increasingly complex network transmission environments, GAP also provides a variety of advanced features, such as load balancing optimization, security, and business support modules that customers can configure according to their actual needs. To optimize load balancing, GAP provides origin pull methods, such as polling, weights, minimum number of connections, minimum amount of delay, and active and standby. In addition, GAP not only provides an origin health check mechanism to ensure timely switching and smooth access, but also provides session retention capabilities to enable the same user to access the same origin. For security, GAP provides basic features such as IP block lists and allow lists to meet users' access control requirements. Basic anti-DDoS services are also provided, and customers can purchase more advanced DDoS protection features according to their needs. Finally, GAP offers various business support modules. First, GAP supports transport protocols such as UDP, TCP, HTTP, HTTPS, and WebSocket. Second, GAP supports obtaining the user's real IP through TOA or the proxy protocol module. Third, GAP supports forwarding rules such as port mapping and domain name mapping. Fourth, GAP supports IPv6 access and IPv6 origin pole transmission. One of the great things about GAP is that it is easy to use. GAP features fully online console operations, simplified configuration processes, one-click features such as cross-cloud transmission and global domain name uniformity, and easy ops. GAP can seamlessly connect across clouds, supporting acceleration for both non-Tencent cloud business and self-built IDC business. Its console configurations are simple, reducing the length of the acceleration channel configuration process and learning costs. Furthermore, its channel settings are not perceptible to the service throughout the whole acceleration process, making them invulnerable to attacks. In an effort to simplify ops, GAP provides a unified global domain name service to reduce the work of configuring DNS for customers. It also offers various easy-to-use data statistics tools and supports real-time monitoring and alarms to ensure high-channel transmission quality and origin health. As mentioned, the Tencent Cloud GAP console is easy to use and has a low learning curve. And for first-time users, 
guidance on how to navigate the course is still available on Tencent Cloud's website. Configuring GAPS acceleration channel on the console only requires four steps. First, add a designation origin. Second, create an acceleration channel and set up a listener. Third, set a unified domain name. Finally, configure an acceleration port. The GAP console also offers various ops tools to increase the operations efficiency and reduce manual work. First, it offers channel data statistics, supporting real-time data viewing with different time granularities, time ranges, and data types to help customers understand the usage of acceleration channels. Second, it features cloud monitoring and alarms, so that clients can be notified in real time about information such as the channel health status through alarms. Customers can modify alarms in real time according to their needs, and doing so will not impact the operations of existing channels. Third, it offers global domain name service to enable the customization of the nearest access area to help customers configure and maintain their DNS. Fourth, it provides customers with real-time on-demand scaling so that they can prevent channel acceleration overload caused by the traffic exceeding the preset value. The aforementioned tools on the GAP console ultimately help make operations more efficient, and GAP's pay-as-you-go and bill-by-bandwidth billing system allows customers to only pay for what they use, reducing their costs. To date, Tencent Cloud Gap has helped several notable gaming customers, such as Clash Royale, reduce the stutter and latency experienced by their players around the globe. A free-to-play real-time strategy video game developed and published by Supercell, Clash Royale was released globally in 2016 and generated $1 billion U.S. dollars in revenue in less than a year after release. It received very positive reviews from players, with an average rating of 4.5 out of 5 on the Google Play Store. Because Clash Royale brings together players around the world for real-time battles, ensuring network stability for all global players is essential, since a fair gameplay experience must be provided across all regions for the game to be perceived by players as fun, fair, and worthy of their time. So, to ensure an optimal gameplay experience for not only players in North America but also players in China, Clash Royale used Tencent Cloud's availability zones in Silicon Valley as the primary connection point for players and leveraged Tencent Cloud's gap to ensure that players in China would not experience gameplay latency greater than 200 milliseconds. This lower latency helped Clash Royale reduce its gameplay session error rates by 50% and ultimately provide its players with a better in-game experience. Okay, now let's move on to an introduction to Tencent Cloud's Tencent DB for TCAP Plus DB. The growth of the online gaming industry over the last two decades has given rise to a need to be able to process increasingly large amounts of gaming data. However, in this context, relational databases have failed to meet the needs of game companies due to its poor scalability, complex operations, and poor performance. In contrast, non-relational databases such as Tencent DB for TCAP Plus DB have succeeded in meeting the massive data processing needs of game companies. Designed specifically for game data processing and powering top-grossing Tencent games such as PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and League of Legends Wild Rift, TCAP Plus DB has been used in over 400 Tencent games for over 40 million portable computing units PCUs. TCAP Plus DB can finish preparing for 1 million PCUs within one hour and is business agnostic. It features fast exchange for hot and cold data with RAM and SSD and a 99.999% availability. It also features tens of millions of queries per second performance at scale, with an average latency of less than 5 milliseconds. Finally, it offers an automatic and free backup service with prices that are 30 to 50% lower than those of competitors. The main features of TCAP Plus DB are as follows. First, TCAP Plus DB has high performance and low costs. It elastically scales without affecting the performance, supports automatic full and incremental backups, is about 70% cheaper than in-memory databases, 
and about 40% cheaper than Redis and MySQL. Second, TCAP plus DB is easy to use. It takes just three steps to create a table, and TCAP plus DB offers create, read, update, and delete interfaces with low network overhead costs. Third, TCAP plus DB supports cloud API integration. It supports languages such as Java, Python, PHP, and Go, and automatic code generation with API Explorer. Fourth, TCAP plus DB supports a flexible data serialization protocol called Tencent Data Representation using protocol buffers. It also supports data migrations from AWS's DynamoDB to Tencent Cloud's TCAP plus DB. Now let's take a look at TCAP plus DB's database structure. TCAP plus DB consists of a cluster, table group, and table. The cluster represents the game's name, the table group represents the game's operating system, and the table represents the business table, which contains information such as the player information table, the bag table, the tool table, the guild table, and the leaderboard. TCAP plus DB has a flexible index definition like that of SQL databases and supports two types of indexes. The local index must be composed of primary key fields and allows you to quickly query data by using a primary key as a filter. Meanwhile, the global index can be composed of various fields and allows you to quickly query data by using a field configured in the global index as a filter. The features of the global index include conditional queries, range queries, fuzzy queries, and aggregation, while the use cases of the global index include application forms, search, and rankings. The maximum size of a single record is 10 megabytes, and for large records, there is no need to separately store binary data, such as images, video, and audio. Now let's take a look at TCAP plus DB's distributed architecture, which consists of components such as the TCAP plus center, the TCAP plus proxy, the TCAP plus directory, the primary, the secondary, and the backup center. The TCAP Plus Center processes requests from web pages and manages all nodes in the entire TCAP Plus DB cluster. Meanwhile, the TCAP Plus proxy serves as the access layer. Specifically, it receives a request from an SDK or API, interacts with the primary node, obtains a response from the primary node, and then returns the response to the SDK or API. The next component is the TCAP Plus directory. The TCAP Plus directory is the directory server. It stores and maintains the information of nodes in the TCAP Plus proxy cluster and responds to requests for information such as the IP addresses and service ports of the nodes in the TCAP Plus proxy cluster from an SDK or API. The primary serves as the primary node at the storage layer. It stores data shards and responds to requests from the TCAP Plus proxy. In contrast, the secondary serves as the secondary node at the storage layer. It stores backup data and backs up the data of the primary node in real time. When the primary node becomes faulty, the secondary node will take over. Unlike the primary, the secondary does not communicate with the TCAP plus proxy. Finally, the backup center serves as a cross-city or cross-region cold backup center and is deployed at an IDC that is in a different region than where the primary node resides. Specifically, it regularly backs up storage layer data from secondary nodes in the cold backup mode every day, and backs up the bin log information from the secondary nodes every 15 minutes. Because TCAP Plus has been designed using a distributed storage model, there is no need to separate tables and databases and the database management granularity is at the table level. When sharding data, one table supports up to 10,000 data shards, and data sharding corresponds to the number of data shards and the amount of data and traffic. Data sharding eliminates the need for users to pay attention to specific data distributions and reduces the pressure on the entire table. One storage process manages multiple shards, and one table can be distributed to multiple storage processes. One of the most important features of TCAP plus DB is its ability to provide services non-stop, even during player data upgrades and database changes, 
improving the gameplay experience as a result. Even though online table structures may be modified during player data upgrades, tables remain unlocked and only new data is affected, with the structure of the old data remaining unchanged. When database changes occur, a grayscale upgrade system is used so that the changes remain imperceptible to the business, allowing TCAP Plus DB to scale without impacting the customer's business. A reflection of its industry-leading database capabilities, TCAP Plus DB holds 10 technology patents in China. In terms of availability, TCAP Plus DB is currently supported in eight global Tencent cloud regions, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Seoul, Tokyo, Silicon Valley, Singapore, Frankfurt, and Virginia. More regions will be supported soon. This marks the end of an introduction to Tencent Cloud's gaming infrastructure. Thank you for watching.